Hey guys, here's how to make a tessellated shape. Draw a big wiggly line from corner to corner and cut it out. Then slide it down directly across. It should fit like a puzzle piece. Don't flip it over on accident. Then tape it down really well. This shape will tessellate, but it's challenged, so we're gonna make it harder. So take the last flat, flat edge that you have and make another wiggly line, cut it out and slide it down directly across. I like to do it on the corner exactly so that it's easy to make sure you tape it exactly across. If you didn't start on the corner, you might want to measure. Then here's the hard part. You have to look at this shape, flip it over, turn it sideways, and see if you can't figure out what it looks like. This is genuinely the hardest part, and you might want to ask other people what they think it is too. But once you've decided what it is, then you can put it down on a piece of paper and start tracing. So, just stare at it for a while. Ha! Uh, when you trace it, hold it very still. I'm using a four inch square, so that takes up most of the paper. If you wanna use a smaller shape, that's totally fine. I wouldn't recommend a bigger shape though. Anyway, uh, be careful because sometimes it's hard to trace around the edges if you've got tape on them and make sure you cut the tape so the tape's not in the way of your shape. Anyway, hold it down and trace it. I recommend with a pencil and not with a felt tip pen or anything permanent. Ha, huh, look at that. Uh, then if you've done everything right, it should fit exactly. And you can just fill up the whole rest of the page with tessellations. When the whole page is finished, you should have one good tessellation uh, maybe two really good ones and then a bunch of half ones if you're using the four inch square. details and color. I've decided to make mine Medusa. Hey, shout out to Cooper A, by the way, because this was his idea first and I stole it. Have fun with this, guys. 